Good morning, everybody. Today, I thought I would show you why I love my crock pot, especially if you work during the day and come home around dinner time. A crock pot is a perfect option for you. So if you don't have one, I highly recommend you get one. Doesn't really matter what brand, as far as I know, but I would definitely look for one that has an insert that comes out because then you can easily put it in the sink and wash it out without worrying about getting the electrical parts all wet. Also, I would get as huge of one as you can because once you own one, you're going to use it for way more things than you would have ever imagined. Today, I'm going to throw in a pot roast for dinner, and I'm going to venture to guess that it would probably take 10 minutes or less to get this thing up and going, and then when we get home tonight, everything will be ready to go. All we're going to dirty is a pan, a cutting board, and the crock pot, and cleanup's going to be super easy later tonight. And as soon as we get home, the house is going to smell wonderful and dinner is going to be ready lickety split. So, first thing I'm going to do is sear the roast. Well, I need to grab it out of the fridge. And let's see, a check on the clock. It's about 9.12 right now, so we'll see what time it is when I'm done. I didn't get anything ready in advance so that it would really take the amount of time that it takes here. Well, except I got the crock pot out. Alright, so I've got a roast here from Range West Beef here in Nebraska. This is grass-fed beef and it's great. Um, this particular processor actually vacuum packs it. So I set it on a towel just because I'm used to the old way of blood leaking all over the place, but this seals it up nice. I've got a rump roast. It doesn't really matter what kind of roast you need, but the recipe I'm using calls for about a two pound roast. So I've got that here. I'm going to grab a pan to sear it in. And I am no chef no professional, so I'm not really sure. I think you sear it to like lock the juices into the meat. So I'm going to put that on high, let that warm up a bit, and then we'll throw it in there and brown it really well on every side. And while that's browning, I'll start getting everything else ready to go in the crock pot. Alright, so let's get this cut open. I don't know if it matters if the pan preheats first, but I'm just going to go ahead and throw this in there now for simplicity. My dog smells meat, so here he comes. Hi, Jackson. This is not for you. Sorry. Alright. Got that in there. We'll start to hear it sizzle in a few minutes. And I'll check on it. Flip it around. Pot roast is really easy and you can adjust it for whatever vegetables you happen to like. You usually use potatoes, carrots, onions. Sometimes we throw in some mushrooms or some green beans, but not today. Sorry, real time can be kind of boring because I run out of things to talk about, which would surprise you if you knew me personally. Alright, time to get some veggies going. Jackson, I'm going to trip over you if you stay in here. Ah. I'm going to grab some carrots from the fridge. Costco's been carrying these huge, like, 10 pound bags of organic carrots, which is awesome. Well, this is one of the bags that goes in the 10 pound bag. Also, exact measurements really aren't important, which is another great thing about pot roast. Grab some potatoes also. I don't know if you can hear that, but the pot roast is starting to sizzle. Alright, wash these up a little bit. And you are such a little stalker. I don't know if y'all can see him on the video, but if he hears me in the kitchen, he's right under toe to see if maybe it's something for him. Aren't ya? Maybe you'll luck out and get a nibble of carrot. Huh? Alright, this water is super hot. Other things we love to make in the crock pot, well, the most common thing we throw in there is the chicken. Roast the whole chicken in there. The recipe is on the Completely Nourished website. It's also in our cookbook. This pot roast recipe is 
also in a cookbook. And I used to make it the way I grew up, which was to throw in a couple packets of Lipton onion soup mix. But I obviously don't use that anymore, so I did come up with a homemade version, which is also in the cookbook. It's really easy to make. It's just all out of um, seasoning. Just dry seasonings that you have in your cabinet anyway. See, this is why they pre-wash things and get things ready on TV. It's not really that exciting. I can really smell that roast now, so I might have to take a break and go flip it. Probably don't want to burn it. Smells good in here already, though. Well, about as good as a mostly raw roast can smell. Mr. Robin is watching me. I've got a bird's nest right outside this window here. In my gutter. In my downspouting. I think he thinks that I'm... He probably feels sorry for me, like I'm captured and held in the zoo here, because it looks to him like I'm the one in the cage, but he's got his freedom out there. All right, hear that sizzle? Grab some tongs. Still kind of stuck to the pan, so I might not really be ready to cook yet. Oh, there we go. So maybe you can see that on the camera. See how it's nice and brown? Start on the other side. All right, get these carrots in here. In my compost bucket. You can chop them however you want. You can dice them up smaller, bigger. It really doesn't matter. Just cut the ends off. And this is going to cook for eight to ten hours. I'm starting it kind of late, so it'll probably be closer to 8 hours today. But say you threw it in at 7 and got home at 5 or so, be ready to rock. Carrots. In the cookbook, there's some measurements, but as far as how many veggies you put in there, it's really not precise. It doesn't matter that much. The seasonings probably matter a little bit more than the veggies. We really like cooked up onions with the pot roast flavor in them. So good. Well, so are the potatoes. Good. Potatoes not as good for the waistline. Who cares, right? They're real food. That's what I say. Isn't it funny? The more you change your diet, the more things you have to feel guilty for. I would have never fathomed feeling bad about eating a potato in a pot roast. A french fry at Wendy's? Maybe that's what I should have been feeling bad about back in the day. Which, by the way, have you seen that ad for the new fries at Wendy's? Naturally cut? What is that supposed to mean? Alright, sorry about that. My memory card filled up, and so I had to stop the tape and start over. And also, you missed the exciting part because the fire alarm started to go off. The smoke detector, I should say. So, I would also recommend turning on an exhaust fan when you're browning your meat. That'd be a good idea. And it's a new house, so I also have to figure out how to shut off the smoke detector. Alright. So, our clock is no longer accurate because then I also took a break and got a few other things done. And I also realized I threw one of my carrots in the compost bucket. Well, I'm always doing that on accident. I get to chopping, and instead of throwing the end in there, I throw the part that I meant to eat in there. Alright, so that's our potatoes, and I'm going to throw in one large onion. Well, at least one. Like I said, we really like them, so if I have room for more, I will throw more in there. Get this outer skin off of here. Oh, so I was saying about the Wendy's french fries. 
What is up with that? Naturally cut, like just because they leave a little bit of skin on there, they're healthy for you. I don't get it. I don't get it. I'd rather they were naturally made, naturally cooked, whatever, I don't know, naturally cut. Strange. You can cut your onions however you like, but if you just cut a slit from the middle out to one edge, then you'll get long onions like this. And they really cook down, so the longer you start with, the longer you'll end up with. If you cut them smaller than this, you'll just end up with little scraps of onion usually by the time they cook for eight hours. It can be quite the balancing act though to cut on this rounded edge of this onion, so you can always cut a little bit of the bottom off so it's flatter. There we go. Ah, my eyes are tearing up. I've heard if you run an onion under cold water or underwater before you cut it, or if you refrigerate it for a while, woo, I'm crying that it won't make you tear. Maybe I'll just get some big funky goggles to wear in my videos from now on. I think we have room for another onion, so I'm just going to go for it. Why not? Our time's all thrown off here anyway. Let's turn this roast also. I'm going to make sure you do the sides as well. See this one? Not brown. There we go. One more onion so I can just have tears falling on my apron in the video. That would be great. Maybe you'll all feel sorry for me. Is anyone still watching? If you are, <laughs> bless you. It is kind of fun to watch people cook, though. I guess the point of my video is already over. The point is the crock pot. It can save you time. Have your dinner ready for you when you get home. But if you want to see how real people cook, here I am. <laughs> no retakes here. No makeup and hair crew. In case you couldn't tell. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm bawling. Alright, hopefully our roast is going to fit because I have packed this baby pretty darn full. Wash these onions off my hands so I might be able to breathe again sometime soon. Also, you see all these towels laying around my counter? Most of them I got at Costco in this huge bundle of towels for like 10 bucks. And I just get them there and then I just don't worry about ruining them. So, keep track of what you're doing. I was wiping my onion hands on that. This is my cleanish towel. This is my neat towel that's going to go straight in the laundry because I'm resting my raw meat stuff all over it. And you don't want to dry your hands off with your onion towel. Alright. Let me shut that off. The pan's going to stay hot. The last side is browning. Then we'll throw it in the pot with our seasoning. Add this to my pile of dishes. Alright. Alright. Sorry about that. <laughs> now my battery went dead. So, I didn't even realize that it wasn't filming the rest of what I was doing. So, I think I was throwing some onions in when I left you unexpectedly. So, all I did was throw in some dry seasonings and a cup of water. And now everything's in the crock pot on low. Sorry about that. Oh, and then I threw the roast in, dumped the seasonings and water on top. So everything's in there. It's going to cook on low for 8 to 10 hours. And I will meet you back here then to show you the finished product. Well, if I remember. But <laughs> this video seems pretty doomed. So don't get your hopes up.